Jack a hole. Thank you for becoming a patron. You are what keeps the dream alive. All right, let's get into it. Oh my googly moogly! People keep pinging me about this game. What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a game that honestly came in as a bit of a shocker, and to my knowledge, completely unexpected. I don't think there was anybody that was expecting Six Days in Fallujah to finally release. Like how many years later? Like 10 years? When was it supposed to come out? Like 2008? According to Google, its initial release date was 2010, so a little over 10 years. But yeah, if you're someone that's wondering what all the fuss is all about, like why everybody's like, oh my god, it's this game, yeah. Well, it's because this was one of those games that never Ever released because of a controversy. So for those of you that don't know, Six Days in Fallujah was to be one of the very first games to actually depict an actual battle from real life. You see, up until this point, there was a bunch of like, you know, Call of Duty games and Battlefield games, but all of them were really like fiction. This would have been one of the first games to actually have authenticity with time and date. The Iraq War Second Battle of Fallujah in late 2004, I believe. They literally recreated the city and looked at a bunch of plans for going into Fallujah. Like, these guys were really going all out. They even created their own engine for this one game alone. This game would have been revolutionary for its time, but it never came to be because of its authenticity. There was just a bunch of anti-war groups that were really against the idea of trying to fantasize about war. And, I mean, I could definitely get where they're coming from, because I'm not someone who's for war, but at the same time, it's not real, you know? It's just a simulation. Which is an interesting concept today if you consider how many freaking games just decide to use authenticity. Like, say, Hell Let Loose, for instance. Like, every map that you see on Hell Let Loose is literally based off of actual events and places in time. Or any tactical game, really. Like, it's just based off of stuff that happens in real life. If anything, I would probably be more offended at the fact that they probably wouldn't have gotten it, like, fully authentic. Like, they probably would have made, like, America, like, the complete good guys and there's nothing wrong with America. When it's probably true that there's blood on everybody's hands. It's like, if you're gonna tell an authentic story, I want to see, like, the truth, you know? Give me those gray areas. I don't want, like, a freaking, oh, I'm clearly the good guy and this guy's clearly the bad guy sort of deal, you know? But anyways, at its core, Six Days in Fallujah was to be a third-person tactical shooter. And I have no idea if this newer version of it is going to be the same. So all this time, we were basically talking about the original. So let's go ahead and hop into this newer iteration of it. So watching through the trailer... Trailer, I think the one thing that concerned me is that there wasn't a whole lot of gameplay. For the most part, they were just showing a bunch of like real life footage of what's actually going on there, and then they also had a bunch of like cinematics or rendered in engine gameplay. I use that with quotation marks because it's not gameplay, it's just pre rendered stuff. So I looked throughout their website and I'm not seeing anything that resembles gameplay. Like all I see is like the pre rendered stuff that was in the trailer and real life pictures. I looked on all their social medias and I didn't see actual gameplay. They are on Steam, so I'm gonna add it to my wish list, I suppose. So I guess we're just gonna have to go off with what is actually here, because there's no gameplay to show for it, as far as I can see. But they're saying that they want to release this game sometime in 2021, but I just have yet to see any actual gameplay. So hopefully, there's actually stuff sometime in the near future here, because just announcing something and not showing gameplay it does have me a bit worried as somebody who's been in this game for a while now. But yeah, let's get into their website here. It says, Victura, I think that's how you say that, and Highwire Games today announced that Six Days in Fallujah is a first-person tactical shooter shooter it's no longer third person it seems based on true stories from the second battle of fallujah in 2004 coming to pc and console in 2021 originally announced by atomic games in 2009 six days in fallujah returns with a new publisher new developer an all new game from many of the core leadership team who created the original halo and destiny games neat this game is definitely going to have a good soundtrack i'll tell you that so this is interesting to me because the only thing that's going to be the same just going to be the name itself it seems like they're making like a completely different game from what we've actually you know come to know back in 2009 i don't know if it's going to be the same or different because from what i've seen it seems like it is going to be like a different type of six days in Fallujah. it might not be the same one that we've seen back in 2009 continuing on here it says sometimes the only way to understand what's true is to experience reality for yourself says the former marine sergeant eddie garcia who was wounded during the battle of Fallujah. i keep thinking Fallujah from star wars and proposed the original idea for six days in Fallujah 2005 2005 
five? Maybe that's a typo. Or I don't know. War is filled with uncertainty, and tough choices can't be understood by someone watching TV or movie screen make these choices for you. Video games can help all of us understand the real world events in ways other media can't. And then I think this is a real life picture here. It doesn't look like it's an in-game picture. The second battle for Fallujah began in 2004 after Al-Qaeda seized control of one of Iraq's major cities. The battle proved to be the toughest military conflict for the Western forces since 1968. Atomic Games announced Six Days in Fallujah in 2009, but saw the title abandoned by its original publisher following controversy about the ability of video games to cover challenging real world events. Victora is a publishing and production company founded in 2016 by former Atomic Games CEO Peter Tamte. Sorry for butchering these names. With the goal of bringing a new Six Days in Fallujah to players, along with other games based on true stories, working in partnership with the frontline Marine and soldiers who fought in the Battle of Fallujah, Victora and Highwire has spent more than three years building unique technologies and game mechanics that bring players closer to uncertainty and tactics of modern combat than other video games have explored. Over 100 Marines, soldiers, and Iraqi civilians who were present during the Second Battle of Fallujah have shared their personal stories, photographs, and video recordings with the development team. The game gives these stories voice through gameplay and first-person accounts captured in the original documentary interview footage. Six Days in Fallujah aims to be one of the most authentic military shooters to date and to tell these military and civilian stories with the integrity they deserve. It's hard to understand what combat is actually like through fake people doing fake things in fake places, says Peter Tamte, CEO of Victra. This generation showed sacrifice and courage in Iraq, as remarkable as any in history, and now they're offering the rest of us a new way to understand one of the most important events in our century. It's time to challenge the outdated stereotype about what games can be. Six Days of Volusia will launch on PC and consoles in 2021. Victra will announce more details about Six Days of Volusia in the coming weeks. So that's interesting. I feel like... This this is a game that's going to be like very like story based. I mean, I have no idea if this is going to be one of those games that's going to be kind of like Squad. And now I think about it, Squad actually has a Felucia map, but I have to wonder like, is this one of those games that's actually going to be like closer to Squad or is it going to be like a story based type of game? Because that's what it sounded like. Definitely interesting to say the least. But unfortunately, we're not seeing any like actual gameplay yet. As far as I can tell, it's just like a bunch of cinematics, which makes me think that this could be one of those games where they do like a cinematic and then you get into the action. Yeah, so I'm looking throughout the website i'm not seeing anything else here i'll send them an email just curious what kind of game is this going to be is this a storytelling type of game or is it multiplayer based hugs and kisses and yeah that's pretty much all their media site it's actually relatively small i mean for a big announcement like this you'd think there'd be more right uh we got faq which platforms will Six Days of Fallujah support? We plan to release the current and next-gen consoles from Sony and Microsoft, as well as PC. When will it be released? We're targeting the release date in 2021. Okay. Who is making the game? The game is produced by Victura and developed by Highware Games. So I'm actually kind of curious. What have these guys done in the past? Uh... Oh. Click for barely read that what the hell does it say our project okay so this would be victor's first game it looks like what about highware high what was it high why high wire games however games is a small team of veteran game developers with proven record of creative vision and discipline high quality production applying effort to where you say proven record of creative vision but where are the games at this is the first time i'm hearing of you and you say proven record uh it looks like they've only made one game Gollum. i've never heard of this game developed by high wire games so if i am reading this correctly high wire games has only made one game and i don't know how good this game is Gollum has gotten about a 3.4 on gamestop metacritic is about a 59 user score oh it's actually higher on the user score it's surprising so i mean that's interesting because this would mean that Six Days in Fallujah would be their first, like, main type of game, you know? So they're really, like, proving themselves here, but I think the thing that I'm a bit concerned about is that they're not really showing, like, gameplay, you know? So, I mean, if somebody has, like, gameplay, then let me know, or if they've seen it, because I'm a bit concerned here, you know? Because, um, the previous Fallujah game actually showed off, like, a lot of gameplay, and I showed at the very beginning of the video what that looked like. Um, this one has yet to actually show anything aside from cinematics and a bunch of live action shots. Um, but I mean, 
I'll definitely try it if they actually do drop gameplay. They're saying that they want to drop it in 2021. I'll definitely take a look at it, but I have yet to actually see anything, um, you know, significant when it comes to it. So yeah, Highwire Games on Steam has yet to actually do anything, it seems. That's like the only freaking game that they have, so I don't know where they say proven... Anyway, why are you making this game? We originally started the project because we wanted to share some extraordinary stories we had been told about remarkable people and events from this battle. As we listened to these stories, we also began to realize how different the video game combat was from the real thing, and also how video games could communicate powerful truths about world-changing events in ways other media could not. You can read more about why we're making this game in our open letter to the community on our website. Will you recreate the death of a real marine or soldier and it says we will not recreate the death of a specific service member during gameplay without their family's permission instead marines and soldiers describe the sacrifice of their teammates during video interviews will i always play as an american no multiple countries had forces in the city not all of which have been acknowledged publicly additionally the single player campaigns include some high intensity stealth missions in which you play as an unarmed iraqi civilian interesting will i play as an Insurgent. No, you will never play as an insurgent during the single player campaign or in a multiplayer recreation of the actual event of an actual event. Okay, so there is multiplayer. So single player and multiplayer. Okay, fair enough. Glad they cleared that up. Was the US government involved in making the game? Why would they be involved? Will they use the game for recruiting? And I hope not. The US government is not involved in making the game, nor are there any plans to use for recruiting. The Marine soldiers and Iraqi civilians who've helped us participate as private citizens and the game is being financed independently. How are you helping service members outside the game? A portion of our proceeds and from Six Days of Fallujah will be donated to the organization supporting coalition service members who have been most affected by the war on terror. Our focus will be on those who traditional relief efforts are not yet reaching. Marine soldiers and civilians who've helped us create the game will be independently involved in directing these donations. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever heard of Victoria and Highwire Games and they as far as I can tell don't really have like a big hitter game you know under their belts so these are technically new studios but at the same time they do have a bunch of people who worked on Six Days in Felucia but is it gonna be like freaking 9 to 5 when there was a bunch of people from the Arma series that are working on 9 to 5 and it ended up being like a completely different game than, I, than what I thought it was going to be like I don't know the previous game in 2009 was to be like a third person tactical shooter but this one is a according to them a first person tactical military shooter that recreates the true stories of marines so it, it just feels a bit different but we'll definitely see once we actually hop into the gameplay i'm very optimistic but at the same time when they don't show a whole lot of gameplay it has me a bit concerned but yeah i think i'm gonna end the video here what are your guys' thoughts if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like six days in felucia then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye